my fellow geekers. What's up, geek gang? My fellow geekers out there. Out here. Out there. Out everywhere. Out there. We are Geek by Heart. I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. And what we gonna discuss today? We're gonna discuss some Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! The new one. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So we're gonna talk about Mortal Kombat. Talk about Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. All right. So what did you like? What did you ah. didn't like? Like what's going on? Well, first let's let's delve deep into it before we kind of you know kind of cut like piece it up and kind of stitch it up. Um, well, first of all, I didn't like it and I liked it. I hear you because I felt the same. Um, you know what? I felt like I was going to like it. And I then when we like were preparing it. for this, I was like, wait I a minute. Like it. It's it's not as good as well, I really felt like it was. Like when I walked out the theater, I was so hyped. And then when I was preparing for this, I was like, no, nah, there are some flaws. I, no, I tell you, it's like the first 15 minutes of the movie, I was oh like my. all ramped up on it. I think I we was all like were. All boosted on it. I was like, I yes, think we all were. This was it. This is it. This, this is the more time that we what, want. This is what we want to see. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? And Sub Zero you know, coming out in his all his glory. Oh my god. And, and, and uh, Mortal Scorpion. What? And you can actually see an idea of how they actually became like enemies um, from the beginning of the movie. And and you know it it everything just balanced from there on. It's like you're trying or to unbalance. I would say. Yeah. It's yeah. In, in some sense, I'm trying to figure out what is going to be happening mm -hmm. throughout the movie or to the ending of the movie because it kind of keep you on an edge basically and it's so the first 15 minutes and it's so funny because i felt like the first 15 minutes were just fan service only because in mm. all honesty it didn't even really serve the plot no nah. it didn't mm -hmm. serve the plot at all mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i just i mean like, again i'm so glad they did it but i felt like if they were going to have such a strong first 15 minutes mm. then that 15 minutes should have been about the plot going forward exactly it should have been about those two then mm. you know what i'm saying that's fine mm -hmm. because if you think about it mortal kombat has so much lore i mean there's many games out there and then sub games you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so it would have been fine i think the, the fans would have been fine if you would have had your whole movie of even about them that's fine well you know what i i i so i kind of agree with you and i kind of disagree with you because at the same sense mortal kombat is basically about our overall entire movie is about the the, um, the, the characters and the tournament mm -hmm. that's true that's, that's true. what i was trying to focus on or trying to see where this is going to be going of course the, the first 15 minutes didn't show you that it showed you a backdrop of what scorpio and sub zero is about and right. what their beef is 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 containing from you get what i'm saying i felt so, like they didn't really talk about that no beef, they didn't they didn't but you know and you know and, and that's the thing because it kind of pulls you as to all right why are they beefing? What what was the True. reason for them to be True. beefing? Like and I felt like the movie. Now, granted, I know there are answers out there. I understand that. I'm just talking about the movie itself. Mm -hmm. I felt like I mean, really yeah, and you're that. speaking at at a at a at a stance where you know you're trying to get people who don't know about Mortal Kombat. Got you. Kind of give them an open mind of what the whole essential part of more of mortal kombat is about all right so mm -hmm. beyond the 15 minutes <laughs> mm -hmm. let's chop it up about everything, everything just else. went everything just went downhill okay like, everything what? went downhill first of all oh my god some of these characters are bugging me man like who which one bugs you the most i think cole cole for for instance cole can't fight okay. why is he in it i i, I okay. don't get it what what, what is he accomplishing uh, I mean, Cole, I, Cole wasn't that annoying to me. I did not like the fact that he's such a newbie and he brought down Goro. That pissed me off. Exactly, actually. and 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 I mean, everyone is so hyped 
half of Goro's, you know, most of the, the, the essential. I mean, Goro. Yeah, most of the essential characters in like like um like Sub Zero, Scorpion, exactly. Sonya Blade, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Cole just stands out like a cold sword. It's like, whoosh, okay. And you know what? It's funny because I didn't actually mind it being a new character. I know that there was a lot of flat given mm. and that Liu Kang wasn't going to be your main character. And I was like, this is refreshing. This is different. I'm okay with that. Mm. But make him compelling. Mm. The only thing that he was compelling for was the <laughs> fact that he was a descendant of Scorpion. Yeah, and, and there that was nothing behind it. it. That was there it. was nothing behind it. Mm-hmm. I, I, couldn't, I, agree, I agree with that. I couldn't. I could. And and what bothers me is that <clears throat> most of these characters, when they appear in the movies, like they, they there's like a certain part of they like say their names. Like you know, you see the introduction of Luke Kang and say hi. I'm Liu Kang. <laughs> He's or, so I'm Sub Zero. You He's know, so it, I mean, it, it's just <laughs> blatant. It's just blatant, stupid. I mean. Come up with something, come up with a different way in order to introduce themselves. Well, listen, you know I mean, we I mean? can talk it's, shit it's, about all of them, but Kano was my man. I loved Kano. You know what? I, I, I like Kano for uh, a certain part, but, they, they, you know, everyone was like hyping up over his, over him as, as the, being the joke of the movie. I, I didn't, I wasn't. I, I, actually, en- I actually enjoyed it. I, 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 I thought that there are times. I it's funny. I, okay. I don't, I, I mean. Over the fact that he's like spewing out fuck, 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 you know. Nah, beyond that. All of that. I, beyond that, his one-liners were on point. I mm. appreciated his one-liners because yeah. as, as a comedy relief, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. Me. Okay. It's kind of mediocre. For that's me, but that's fine. You see that here? You see that here and out there? And then again, the introduction of some of the characters, like um, Go, Shansung, just call up this this uh, person. You just see his shadow through the gates and you know you see his, his forehands and everyone is like yay you know there, there's nothing exciting about like the entry of each that's, that's true of that's each very character true. and and, and they had saying? some really iconic <laughs> villains in there yeah and it, it they did nothing with them actually. yeah and, I agree and, with and, that. and you don't have like a backstory of why they're there why each character is there you know, you have nothing. There's mm-hmm. nothing that pulls you. How they get their symbols, um, their their insect, their their birthmark or whatever. It's, and that that I, birthmark I, 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 thing is 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 confusing. You know what? I, I'm glad that you said that because I I liked it and disliked it. I felt like the birthmark was definitely interesting because I felt like it wasn't something that was a birthright in order for you to be this important person, mm, right? Mm. But a plot hole to me was like, all right, so basically, if you have, <laughs> if you killed someone who had this, uh, who had this mark, mm-hmm. then you inherit the mark. And what if you don't do Mortal Kombat, but you tap into your inner strength? Mm-hmm. Then you have nothing but mutants running around. So you basically have X Men running around, and here goes MCU. They can open up their X Men door through this. And yes, it, the thing about it is that what bothers me is that Sonya Blade beats um, Kano, Kano, and she just automatically get the the mark. I'm like, uh, I didn't, I didn't mind. I mean, it, I don't, I, I don't get it. I, I think how this movie should have went is that each person is good at a particular fighting move. Like Blade, Sonya Blade should have been that person who's good with knives. Or Kino, you know, is like straight street fighting type. Oh, yeah, he dude, definitely you know what I mean? It's it's just mediocre for me. What I wanna talk about are the fight scenes. I personally didn't like the fight scenes. I think it was just dumb right. <laughs> it was just dumb right stupid. It's like you will see like the fighting, like they're fighting and the, the, the editing would just like cut from each so you will see like they're blocking mm-hmm. the blocking content and you know it will edit between both characters blocking blocking and then it's like the main purpose it it's like it's more focused on doing a fatality move and which i loved I, yeah but i, I, I want to see I the, the fighting is just not that powerful it's not like some you know like some good fighting abilities because i know that fatal is going to be a part of it absolutely but what about the real fighting the real fighting mechanism of everything so it's funny you say that because like i i definitely agree with you mm. um and then i i actually kind of compared it to the 95 version and saw that even though now see there's issues with the fighting in the 95 version mm, too however it's funny because like they don't cut away as much. Mm-hmm. Now that there, there's time that there's like a phantom punch that doesn't even connect with mm-hmm. you or whatever. And mm-hmm. there are times where it actually seems like it does. It does, yeah. But 
when you're saying that those quick cuts are happening in 95 they didn't really do but in 2021 they did mm -hmm. but you know what i had to like i said go back and see that because i was enamored with the fatalities i thought the fatalities mm -hmm. were cool yeah and the when fatalities Robin, we were first cool. talked about just, this you were like this and i'm like no it, it it was dope and i'm like oh i got i gotta watch it again the fighting the fighting was on and off for me mm -hmm. but you know the original this this version is much more better than the older version um the older the older versions listen i love the older version too it, it's a cult classic for me <laughs> but you're absolutely right it is better it yeah, is better. It's, it's it's trash the older versions are trash this one is pretty much um a good scene of what mortal kombat the video game is all about one of the things i really liked about was when they were fighting mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but Jax was kind of fighting at the pit. Oh, yeah. I wanted him to uppercut the shit out that guy, and you could see him falling into, into some spikes. Pit. That would yeah. have been so freaking dope. But mm -hmm. with that being said, like, yeah, I, I do think that 2021 definitely has a lot of edge over um, uh, 1995. However, that one is a cult classic. Don't sleep on it at nah, all. Don't sleep on okay? it. Okay, we're not gonna talk about Annihilation. Because that please, one is trash. is trash. No, no, no. I'm sorry, not trash. It is trash. I'm still talking about the whole, the whole fighting scenes of the movie. Um, we still haven't seen the most important part of Mortal Kombat, which is the tournament. We haven't seen that. I hear you. We haven't seen the tournament. I but actually I guess, was okay with that. I guess they say that um, there's going to be more Mortal Kombat movies. I hope exactly. they. Exactly. Oh, they are. Uh, they I'm they, okay with they, that. they focus more and an upgrade like the fighting scenes um you know more of the characters going to be involved in it like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. johnny cage and, and and such and such work so I, i'm hoping to see this in a different light in, in the next set of movies that's coming i know it got a lot of flack for not having a tournament but i was okay with that because i felt like it was a proper way to actually put together a trilogy mm -hmm. now granted it's risky because if they don't get the green light for another for a sequel then it kind of leaves you with like but I wanted that tournament right mm -hmm. but like I think that they were taking their time to make sure that they were getting everything involved so that they can build off of it and to go straight into a tournament I felt w was not the best way to do it and I mm -hmm. really appreciate that so I know you didn't like it but I was okay with it well you know overall I I'm, you know, I'm actually saluting this movie because it's it's basically a, a big step from the last movies, and this can be Especially this can the, this can be a different um, direction for video game movies, yes. like like yes. um, like Street Fighter and yes. and I, I Don't heard be they, I heard they're planning on doing um, doing a Doom movie, a new new Doom movie. I I, I like um, the Rock One. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's trash. Rock, what? It's trash, but oh it's culty trash. Are you serious? It's <laughs> what? Anyways. Okay, it is a cult favorite. Stop it. It is <laughs> not just me. Please let us that know. Is, trash. is it a cult favorite or it's trash? It's trash. It is a cult favorite. Man, I don't, I don't care what you say. What? So what's your good? What's your what's your three good and your three bad about the movie? All right, so three good, three bad. Fatalities. Number one, mm -hmm. pure and simple. Mm -hmm. The characters Kane. Um, sorry, Kane. Kano, mm -hmm. Sub Zero, Scorpion. And especially Sub Zero, mm -hmm. and what they did with his special effects was freaking. Um, like I said, setting up, the, setting up the tournament, and not having the movie be about the tournament. Okay, I was okay with that. Okay, about you. Uh, my three good is basically the first fifteen minutes of the movie. Oh yeah, was put with perfectly, yes. perfectly done. Um, the fatalities were okay. I can say that it's not great epic type thing, but it's something that kind of. You know, brings it in and ah, uh, lick your fingers and all that. Stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, the Sub Zero and Scorpion's uh, costumes, uh, I like them. Okay. That's my three good. However, my three bad is um, most of the fight scenes were trash. Mm -hmm. um, no, I, say I think trash. I think I think they should have done a bit more um, fight um, choreography. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that right. And um, the fight choreography with uh, that Probably. as well. <laughs> yeah, I hope they you know hope they actually improve on that in the next set of movies. Mm -hmm. um, Cole lack fighting skills. I, I hate I hate that. I don't know why he's in the movie. 
for some reason and he can't fight. It makes no sense. They they might turn it over to him. He might be someone that gets killed in the second movie. Well, let's see. Yeah. And um, the introduction of the villains is just there should have been a much more a much more creative way in, in, in introducing each villain to the movie. Um, I will say for my bad geeks are um, the pothole about the mark. Mm-hmm. Okay, because honestly, like I said, MCU can now say that this is the way that X Men were brought on or mutants were brought on. Um, the fact that Goro got taken out by a newbie, like mm. that should never happen, mm. period. And for me, honestly, I felt like it was false advertising. Mm. I wanted the movie to be about Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Oh, okay. And the fact that it wasn't, like I said, the first 15 minutes were so good. Mm. Make the movie about them. Yeah. Goro died in it. Goro is, is like a top tier enemy that's um, right. villain Shoot. but you, you know, have to work hard to get to him it is and then all of a sudden newbie cold okay who's exactly. just who's just finding her his okana okay all of a sudden can <sighs> now kill him nah bro oh, damn. not having that so anyway yeah we got it in at least we seen it what is yeah. your rating real quick uh, my rating for it would be a 2.5 Your buddy, over a 5. 2.5? Yeah, 2.5 over 5. That's 50%? Five. Nah, it's not 50%. Yeah, it's a 2.5 out of 5. It's not 50%. I would say 3.25. Yeah, it's At a, least it's like 2.5 out of 5. 2.5 for me. I mean, it could have been better for me, I think. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's my thinking. I, I, I want to see epic, especially for movies like iconic that's, video game that's movies. True. And I, and I said the same thing about Man of Steel. You know, everyone was like, oh, crazy about the, the, the um, Zack Snyder Man of Steel. I didn't like it. I, I think it's not epic. Man of Steel Superman should have been epic. Just like uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is like the, 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 the introduction of, of good fighting games. And I think it should have been epic. It should have been something that you were like, oh, shit, did you see that movie? You know? I, but I just don't I think it's 2.5. So we'll, but, we'll be different on that. As usual, guys, you can always comment. Comment, comment, comment. Let us know what you think about what we think so that we can know what you think and kind of put things in a thinking perspective. <laughs> you think? You think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> anyway, subscribe to us. We are Geek by Heart on YouTube, Geek by Heart on Instagram. This has been Lainey and Jay. And we will see you when we see you when we see you. Peace.